Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is kind of a monumental video for me. This video is my 2000th Corel Draw video. I have like 2050, but there's some other videos mixed in there. But this is the 2000th Corel Draw video. And somebody asked me the other day what it meant to subscribe. And in, in, in all of my videos, over the last four years, I've never asked for subscribers, and I've got almost 9,000. Subscribing to someone's video, and I actually had to sign out of my account to sign in. I'm almost 100% you you have to have a Google email account, a Gmail account, which is a real good account. You don't ever have to use it, but to subscribe, and what subscribe means, when I produce a new video, if you like my videos, and I have a lot of people thanking me for my videos and think I do a good job and it keeps me going. But if you subscribe to my video, when I post a new video, you will receive an email that I posted a new video. So enough with that. I've been playing around the last several weeks with 3Ds and somebody was kind enough to send me this 3D pattern. And the photograph doesn't know justice whatsoever. These leaves... Even the interior of them are three-dimensional. And I'm going to run this tomorrow. This is a, just a piece of plywood. I'm going to run it tomorrow on a real piece of wood. But I've done several videos lately, and here's that file, and that's what it looks like. And I hope to someday learn how to draw this. And I've kind of learned by looking at this, it's not really vector. It's uh, blurry. And... I am going to figure out how to draw like this someday. And if I do, I will pass it on. The detail of the flower are just incredible. So I'm going to start researching that. But I've been playing around with different shapes. And I am going to make a several videos on how to create some of these stars. And, and again, the picture doesn't know justice. But even back up, it's even better. This has a 3D pattern. This has a 3D pattern with a star in the middle. And this is actually risen up. I mean, this is level with the plywood, and this is probably taken down uh, a sixteenth of an inch, and then it slowly comes up to that star. So I'm going to probably make a several videos on these stars and how to get these patterns. This is just the generic star up top that I've been kind of, demonstrating in my videos just by using the contour tool to contour but I started playing around with contouring them in, in different manners so in the next several videos I'm going to show how to contour this like this so if you if you stay uh, stay tuned and watch part two and I'm going to call this Corel Draw Tips and Tricks 2000 video and so this will be 2000 part 2 3d but that's a pretty cool effect it looks i don't even know if i took a picture of that one um i think it's this one right here where the the inside is the picture doesn't know justice looking at it with your eyes it's a uh, pretty cool so anyway stay tuned for the next videos and hope those helped a little bit and thank you for watching